Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a review video, long overdue as per always on my channel, but that's okay. Today we're going to talk about the Violet Voss Flamingo Palette, and I just wanted to quickly review this for you guys on my channel in case you were considering picking this up. I do have a few announcements. I probably won't be uploading every other day. I do want to pre-film as much as possible, but basically the whole month of August my parents will be visiting and my parents live in Sri Lanka. Look it up on a map if you don't know where it is, but it's super duper far away and I don't really want to take any time away from spending time with them to film. So I'm gonna try and pre-film or film when like they're busy or out doing something so I don't miss a moment with them. But uh, hopefully I can get some pre-film content so that you guys are kind of covered and don't miss me too much while I'm gone. So if you're wondering where I am, that's where I'm at. Definitely follow me on Instagram. That's where you will get the most up-to-date updates of what we're up to. So if you miss me a little bit, that's where I'll be. Also, I am a little bit salty today because this week, the week of like July 15th, 16th, 17th has been like the week of new releases. So Sydney Grace is having their Christmas in July sale. ABH Norena palette just came out today. I bought the freaking Sugar Pill Pro palette last week. And then the Ace Beauté like four eyeshadow palettes launched. Um, the Juvia's Place randomly dropped a palette on us. What else is happening? The Wet n Wild Zodiac Collection dropped today. I, I just like, wow, it's crazy, right? Like, I'm just like baffled by all the makeup that's coming out. So, it definitely seems more vast than ever. But I don't want to forget about these palettes, so I decided. Yes, I'm definitely going to go ahead and review this one for you guys. So a little bit of backstory of me and Violet Voss. I had this brand highly recommended to me by two of my makeup guru friends, um, Nisha and Netmi, were constantly raving about the Violet Voss formula on their Instagram stories maybe a year or two ago. I'm pretty sure it's when we moved into this house. And so I became fast friends with Violet Voss. And so I bought the Holy Grail palette, then they restocked I believe the Laura Lee palette and their Ride or Die palette came out bought all three of those loved those three palettes then they came out with that um, all about matte palette which I bought because I'm a fan of their palettes and I'd never use that palette so I did sell that one on Poshmark I recently sold my Ride or Die palette on Poshmark as well just because it wasn't getting any use in my collection and I didn't want it to get old and then nobody would use it so I sold it. So I still have the Holy Grail, I have the Laura Lee and of course I had to buy this because this was something so different for Violet Voss. I just wanted to get my hands on this plus I feel like at the time they launched this palette this color scheme was still so fresh in the makeup community. Also if you guys want to see like previous reviews or times I've mentioned Violet Voss on my channel I do have a Violet Voss playlist, so you're more than welcome to check it out. Now, I was really wondering if this palette and this palette were going to be similar. Um, if you haven't seen the Jeffree Star review, I've already uploaded it on my channel. I will go ahead and link that one in the cards as well. I'm actually planning on never using this palette again because I didn't like this palette. I told you guys in the review. And yeah, the shades are, you know, kind of similar. This one has some neutral glitter shades in it that I really was not that big of a fan of. And I think, yeah. So anyway, they're, they're kind of similar, but not so much. I think if you like Jeffree's formula, you're going to want to go with Jeffree's palette. If you like the Violet Voss formula, you're going to want the Violet Voss palette. But I don't think you need both. I don't want to do a comparison video because I really just didn't like the Jeffree palette, so I'm not going to go there. I did, however, because my favorite shades in this palette are the blues. Those are the ones that show up the most pigmented on me. So the shade Oceanfront, Tidal Wave, and Beach Ball, I can create an eye look with those, and I love it. Um, but I can also achieve that look just using these two blue shades in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I haven't used this Jaclyn Hill palette since I bought it. I must have reviewed it and forgot all about it basically. And I meant to keep bringing it back, bringing it back, but I kept putting it off. And honestly, even though I don't really like the brand, I 
did think this palette performed very well. So if you have this, you probably also don't need the Violet Boss palette in case you guys are trying to save money this summer. I just thought I'd mention all of those things. So I picked this up on the pre-sale and then they launched it at Sephora. It is still available on Sephora.com, but it is currently sold out on Violet Voss. In case you guys were thinking of picking it up, I will go ahead and link it down in my description box. Just so you guys know as well, the links in my description box are not always, but sometimes they are affiliate links. So if you do make a purchase through my link, I will make like a small amount. I think total I've made like $50 using that service, but anything helps. So if you guys are thinking about purchasing it and if you want to purchase it, that's totally fine. Obviously watch the review to the end, but I just wanted to tell you guys it's in the description box. I always say like, you know, it is like a, an affiliate link, but in case you guys were curious, I just want to put it out there. Anyway, so back to this guy. I picked it up on the pre-sale and I think they had multiple items so they did like a bundle um, where they sold like this beach towel and the bundle and the face palette were $95. Then they, you could buy just the face palette for $45, the beach towel was $30 and then this palette was $45. So I was not tempted really by the face palette. I'll throw up a picture if you guys haven't seen it. I just couldn't tell if it was something I was going to enjoy. Plus, I have kind of in my brain decided I'm not really going to buy many complexion products. Like I don't really need any new blushes. I don't need any new bronzers. I want to get through some of those products in my collection. So I focus mainly on buying eyeshadow palettes because if I start buying every bronzer, every blush, every highlighter, every eyeshadow palette, I would be living under a bridge <laughs> like literally super duper poor so i'm happy i got my hands on this in the pre-sale they did sell it on sephora a couple of days after it came out on violet Voss, which i was kind of annoyed about because i prefer to buy from stores i know i can return i didn't think this was going to come to sephora.com that soon but it did actually come out probably like a week after it launched on violet Voss for that like pre-sale which i thought was kind of sketchy like and then it took like a couple of weeks before they launched it on Violet Voss. So I don't really know. I feel like that's a marketing gimmick and it's not a very good marketing gimmick, but that's what they did. As far as the shades, there are 20 shades in this palette and each pan is 0 0.06 ounces of product. So it's fine. I mean, like I've said in previous reviews, I don't really care about the numbers. I just want to mention it in case you guys care about something like that. I haven't hit pan on an eyeshadow palette in a long long time so it's not something that concerns me but I understand that if you are just buying like one palette every couple of years or you buy one palette not so often then you probably want to consider these things. The other thing is Violet Voss did have a cool table where they like explain the formula or the finish of the eyeshadow as well as the color description so I'm just going to go ahead and insert that here. Okay, so hopefully that gave you kind of an idea of what to expect. As far as the shelf life on this palette, I do like it. It's 24 months, which is two years, which I think is fantastic. The other thing I think you should know is the palette is made in China. So that is something to think about as well in case you guys don't like to purchase brands that are made in China. I don't know if it's cruelty free or vegan. I didn't see it on the Sephora site or the Violet Voss site. So if any of you guys know and want to inform us, definitely leave a comment down below. Super duper appreciated. As far as shipping from Violet Voss, it was very quick. I'm pretty sure they didn't do free shipping with the palette. I, they do free shipping if you spend $50 or $75 on their website, so I wasn't going to get more than the palette, so I just paid for shipping. I bought it on June 18th, and I received the palette on June 21st, so that was a pretty good turnaround time for that. So now, as far as application, I had mentioned this previously. I'm having a tough time with this palette. I did manage to test out pretty much all the shades in here, and honestly, 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 other than this row, everything else is a struggle. I have used the Violet Voss Shimmer Formula many times, obviously with the Holy Grail palette, the Ride or Die palette, and those shimmers are so much butterier than these ones that I'm actually really kind of bummed about the performance of these. I feel like if I were to swatch those palettes, the other ones that I mentioned, the shades would show up much more like pigmented and shimmery on my hand than this one. So overall application was a struggle. A lot of these shades are very sheer. They're hard to build up and 
I don't know, maybe it could be that it's just not like my skin tone friendly. Obviously, I can only speak for myself, but when it comes to eyeshadows, I really like my eyeshadows to be very, very opaque, especially when I'm paying $45 for the shadows. So I'm pretty disappointed in the application of these. I have a really, really hard time picking these up with a brush, so the best way for me to use them is with my fingers. The other thing I wanted to mention is I don't really have any problems with the wear time or anything. I feel like the shadows do last very well. They don't like fade or anything like once I get them on my eyes, but it's really hard to get them on my eyes in the first place. I feel like I have to work a lot with the matte formula. And again, it might just be because some of these pastel shades are just really difficult for me to build up. And I feel like it could be my skin tone. Um, I did recently get the NYX base or like the primer. Let me show it to you. One of my subscribers actually recommended this to me. Such a good recommendation. This is a NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. This, oh god. This stuff is like glue. It makes anything stick to my eyelid. So I'm kind of excited about that. And obviously I'm going to keep this palette because I definitely like this better than the Jeffree Star palette. Would I say, like, definitely go ahead and run out and get this? I think, ultimately, no, I wouldn't recommend this palette. I feel like Violet Voss could have done better. It could be that the palette I got just isn't the best quality, and there's, you know, might be a little bit more of a dud palette. It was so weird because I remember when I got the Lemonade palette from Christian Dominique's line, Dominique Cosmetics, I remember trying to use it on my eyes, and I'm like... I can't believe there is so much hype around the Latte palette. This Lemonade palette sucks. Like, I was so disappointed. And then it turned out, you know, she was honest with her buyers and said, like, hey, there was an issue with a certain batch. Like, we'll send you replacements. Like, I really appreciate them doing that, you know. It solves the problem, um, especially when people spend their hard-earned money on stuff. So, yeah, that was really cool that she did that. But with this palette, I don't know. It just doesn't live up to the hype of Violet Voss in my mind. I even bought their hashtag palette last winter and even those felt really creamy and buttery. I did end up returning that palette because I didn't think it was something I needed in my collection. As far as the shades, once I saw it in person, that row of purples was very beautiful, but nothing else really stood out about that palette. So I'm excited that they stepped out of the box and did something different. But I don't know necessarily that if you are a fan of the regular Violet Loss formula, I don't know. Do you guys have this palette? Do you feel the difference? Because I definitely do. And yeah, I wish I could return it, but I can't. So I'm going to keep it and try my best to use it. Okay, guys, that is everything for this review video. I hope you found it useful and entertaining. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I also have a review playlist. So if you guys love watching review videos, all you have to do is hit that playlist at the end of the video and it will play every single review I've ever done on my channel, which I think you guys will find quite enjoyable and quite time consuming if anyone's interested. Other than that, I will catch you in my next video, which should be up not tomorrow, but the day after because I upload every other day. So I'll catch you then. Bye guys.